Hello and welcome back to Cloud and Web Developer. Today I'm going to show you a library that I found really useful this week because I was tasked at work to uh, create an endpoint in Flask that once called, it was going to trigger a set of activities. But the tricky part was that that endpoint had to be called at 8 a.m. every day only once. And so when I heard that, immediately my brain went to what I knew, what I have used before, which is the cron jobs in the cron tab. And using one of the, my favorite websites of all times is cron tab guru. So shout out to this website in here. What I, what you can do is to experiment a little bit of what combination of characters you need to accomplish or to set an interval that you want. So for, for example, in my case, I would have need to use 08 star 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 and that would trigger the job at 8 a.m. But the thing is cron jobs and cron tab are only available to you if you have access to the server in which your application is hosted, which it might not always be the case. And so what I wanted better is to have a way to do something similar, but within my Python application. And another way you could have done it is with Celeris and Ready, which is a queuing system, but it's it's probably over engineered for what we're trying to accomplish today. So luckily there's another library, which is what we're going to use today and uh, doesn't use cron jobs or anything like that. And so it's called Python schedule. And the way that you use it is we're going to first install pip install schedule. I already have it. So it's just for to show you how to do it. And then we need to import it. And also we need to import time. That's all you need for, for this at least. And then we're going to define a function that, which is the function that we want to be called every so often, depending on the interval that you want to set. And in our case, it's just going to do something trivial. Uh, so hello world from cloud and web developer. Okay. Um, and then when do you want to call this? Well, you accomplish that by writing schedule. So calling schedule the method every, and then in here, you're going to put the unit of time that you want. So 10, but 10, what 10 seconds in our case dot do. So call what call the function that we just defined up there. This is it. So this is going to call this job function every 10 seconds. And to keep this alive or running, right? As if you were, as if it was a cron job in the back end, uh, you add this so while true. So always, uh, so schedule dot run and pending and lastly time dot sleep one. Okay. So you just need to keep these three lines at the end of whatever you want to use your schedule. Cool. And so if we save and if I run my app with app dot pi, now we just need to wait 10 seconds and hopefully if everything went as planned, we're going to see this line displayed in the, in the terminal. So anytime now, there you go. Cool. Right. So we don't need to wait for another 10 more seconds and we'll see it once again. So you trust me, right? So, and we could make it even more, you know, quickly. So one second, I'm just going to clear here. And I'm noticing that I missed an R. Cool. All right. So what else, what other ways you can uh, set the interval that you uh, want to do? Well, another one would be schedule dot every leave empty hour dot do job. This one would do every hour, right? So we're, you'll just have to trust me here because I'm, we don't have enough time to test that. Or you can do schedule dot every day at it's just great the way that you can just use english for instance let's try and do this one so it's a uh, 12 let's see if i manage to do a 12 45 to do job and i need to comment these two lines out and save and run okay so it's 12 48 for me so hopefully at 12 49 we'll see that the function being triggered Right. In the meantime, we I can keep showing you other ways that you can do it. So sh schedule every five minutes. Um, no, every five. Oh, there it is. So twelve forty nine, and now we have the line displayed. 
So this is kind of what I needed to do in my case. So just at 8, 8 in the morning, trigger my function. What else is there? So 8, 5, 2, 10 minutes to job. Right? So it, it types really like English, which is quite great. Well, the developer of this library uh, did a great job with that. Every So it all started with every Monday dot do job that's another way so every monday as soon as it turns into monday it's gonna trigger your your function schedule dot every and dot wednesday <laughs> at say 13:55 do job so this is gonna every wednesday at 1 55 pm is gonna call your job uh, and, and lastly, schedule dot every uh, minute at se at the seventeenth second do job. And something that I like to comment here is that, for example, in here you can trigger something with seconds, whereas with a cron job, you really can't. Uh, you can you can do it by with minutes, but anything smaller than that it doesn't work. So this is something that probably with cron jobs would have been a little bit more difficult. Um, and all these works, obviously, or we can't really test them, but hopefully you believe me and uh, try and test on your on your end. So it's a great library for you. Hopefully it saves some hassle on, on your daily work. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, subscribe, share, and uh, I do these videos every week. This is Carlos for Cloud and Web Developer. Have a great day. See you later.